Hello friends, welcome to my channel and this is your sister, your one and only Christiana and you are watching Christiana Flourishing and welcome to Friday, our Rhapsody of Reality Summarize we summarize the Rhapsody of Reality here in this platform every Friday and for all my subscribers and friends I salute you all and I thank you so much and for those of you who are joining me you've seen my face for the very first time you're welcome to God's family please subscribe to the channel put the bell on top Tuesday and Friday is when we post something really really strong and then sometimes we have some shots here and there so enjoy this channel and your life will never Money is an illumination. It says in the book of Luke, chapter 12, verse 15, and he said unto them, Take heed and beware of confidence, for a man's life consists not of the abundance of things which he possesses. <clears throat> I often say that money is an illumination that exists only in the mind of the poor. There is no such thing as money, money in the description and in the duration in the world. When God made this world, there was no such thing as money. Money evolved with time. With what happened in the world today, many now better understand money is the game of number. Hallelujah. What God expects is that you live in champion. That is, he made you fear nothing in this world and refuse to be intimidated. That is the gospel. Prosperity is beyond money. The presence and absence of money doesn't change your state or condition your spiritual and therefore she shouldn't change your testimony for God. If, for example, you require something and your money isn't enough for it, that doesn't mean you can't have it. You can get it free. That is a life of prosperity. I'm talking about God never say, except you have money, nothing will have you. Yours. Whether it said, Penny, all things are yours. In 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 21, it says, All things are ours. Even though your money could not get it, we just believe in God that you have it. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, what is important is the purchasing power, and your purchasing power isn't money. It is your faith. Yes, faith produces that which we desire, that which we wanted. Believe that you have be free from the power of intimidation of money. Hallelujah. Because money has put a lot of people down. I want this, I want it because of money. So say to yourself, you are free from the power of intimidation. Let's be God. His divine power has given me all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of whom that called me to glory and virtues. I am free from the power and the intimidation of mourning. I walk in victory, in absolutely prosperity, bringing forth from within her that I require in success in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, friends, welcome to Tuesday, the 25th. He says, Endless joy. The book of Romans, chapter 14, verse 17. For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness, joy, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. According to the scripture, there is a relationship between joy and the Holy Ghost. Wow. Romans 15, 13 says, Now the God of hope free you with all joy and peace in believing that you may abide in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. Also in the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 6, it says, the Bible says, Yea, be, beloved, yea, become followers of us and the Lord. Have we received the word in short affection? with joy of the Holy Ghost and her team verse says the kingdom of God is righteousness, peace and joy of the Holy Ghost. You know that song, righteousness, peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Actually, some Christians have received the Holy Spirit. Their hearts are full of troubles. They are worried about many things. They worry about their children, their health, business, it is in. They just seem to have so much reason to not to be happy, even when they have the Holy Ghost. Someone may say, I need a change of environment. I need to travel somewhere. I can really be happy. No, don't look at anywhere extremely to give you joy. Your joy is of the Holy Spirit. Oh my God, this is so key. <laughs> joy and happiness have nothing to do with what is going on around you. Our joy is independent 
of circumstances. We are joyful in our pastry. That word the Bible says, cut it hold joy when you fall into devil's trials. Hallelujah. Trials are test. James 1, 2. It doesn't matter what you're going through. Remain in joy. Make up your mind to be joyful today and always. I have been taught, brought into the life of endless joy. The joy that comes from the inner man and transcends physical circumstances. My joy is of the spirit and independence of circumstances. I am ever strong and alive for the joy of the Lord is my strength. Welcome to Wednesday the 26th. It says, His blood speak better things. And Jesus, the moderator of the new covenant and the blood of speaking that speak better than that of Haba in the book of Hebrew chapter 12 verse 24. In 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 21, the Bible says, Jesus, the cup, when he has supper, saying, This cup is a new testament in my blood. This do ye as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. His blood represents his life. He gave his life for you that you may live. The Bible says, We heart remembrance receiver of God, a precious stone, but with the blood and precious blood of Jesus. Christ, Son of the Living God, Hallelujah! His blood is your vessel, true vessel, and His blood speak. He is speaking blessings on your behalf, Hallelujah! Thank God for the blood of Jesus. It speaks your salvation, Hallelujah! We were in sin, but through the blood we were no more in sin, Hallelujah! To the Old Testament, before Jesus Christ came, there were different blood. Things they do to cleanse their sin, their sheep and every other thing. But Jesus has come to make us a perfect sacrifice. We don't need those goats and animals and all those things anymore. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is the one sacrifice and perfect forever. All those who call upon him and offer himself once for the total boosting away, the removal of their sin. Hallelujah. When you come to Jesus Christ, your sin is totally cleansed away. Hallelujah to Jesus, dear Father. Thank you for the blood of Jesus that gives me remission, justification, redemption, access, and fellowship. Cleansing and the blessings of this New Testament. I walk in the finished work of Christ. I walk in the finished work of Christ and the glory that he died, buried, and resurrected. Worked for me. Thanks be God forever. Amen. Welcome to Thursday, friends, the 27th. It says, justify with a new life. In Romans chapter 5, verse 1, it says, Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Each time I speak about all that Jesus did for us, awful time tears of worship and appreciation flow freely from my eyes. I let an, an uncontrollable joy think about it because of the of Jesus, we have been declared not guilty, justified. Ah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We are declared not guilty through the blood of Jesus Christ. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 4 to 6, it tells us, For but God, who is rich in mercy, for his great love, wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sin, has quickened us together with Christ by grace, ye have saved, and has raised us up together. And make up sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. When Jesus died, we die in him. When he raised, when he was buried, we were buried with him. And when he was raising up, we were raising up with him. What a glorious life we have in Jesus. We were in him in death, in burial and resurrection. In Romans 4, verse 25, 24 to 25, say that for ye ought to walk, hmm, but for ye, us also to whom it shall be imputed. But we believe in him that raised up Jesus, our Lord, from the dead. He was the liver of our offense and was risen again for our justification. We wasn't justified by his death. We were justified by his resurrection. Hallelujah. You are not the same person when you were born. Your, your, your physical parents, your mother, your father. You are not as long you receive Christ into your life. Therefore, we are, we are buried. You know, we are buried with him. We are crucified with him. We will raise up with him. We have a glorious life. Now, you, for that reason, you have to walk in the consciousness, the light of your new life in and nature in Christ. Walk in the new life that God has given to you. Don't walk like someone who don't know who they are. Hallelujah. Righteous Father. 
What a glorious celebration. The death, burial, and resurrection of the Lord Jesus has ushered me into. Indeed, in that, when he was raised from the dead, we were raised together with him and sought, received justification. I am alive in Christ. Therefore, I walk in this oneness in life. Welcome to Friday, the 28th of May, 2021. And it says, Grace for so weary. In the book of Ephesians, chapter 3, verse 8, it says, Unto me, whom I am less than the least of all saints, is this grace given that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ. This is your calling. This is my calling. Hallelujah. In the scripture above, the Apostle Paul acknowledged the grace and spiritually enablement, a gift, an ability, a blessing has been granted him to preach the unsearchable riches of Christ. To the Gentiles, the same truth about you today because the word of God is updated and has universal principle. So if he is committed to Paul at that time, he is committed to you and I to your him. Job. To make everybody hear yeah, about in your place of work. Because the same thing that has been given to Paul has been given to you. So you, whatever you are in your place of work, in your job, you have to let them hear the gospel. That you have to let them know about Jesus Christ is the Lord and personal Savior of their life. Perhaps you travel a lot consistently. You meet people while on short trip. Minister the gospel to them. Moreover, when you arrive on your destination, there is a soul there. Find out and you can eventually change their life. You can bring begin by giving them a copy of this book or absolute of reality you can begin to share the bible the verses that you know share it with them that thing you believe that will give you that consciousness share it to others so that others can believe the lord and savior jesus christ you don't need to be a pastor Paul the apostle was not he was just a common poor before you become an apostle so you can do the same by reaching out your world wherever you are with the gospel of jesus christ life is about one thing establishing the righteousness of god and the reign of his kingdom in the earth for necessity is laid upon me to this effect i made full proof of my calling as an effective witness as i go about winning souls and imparting others with the gospel in jesus name amen thank you so much for joining me i really appreciate you don't forget to click on those videos that are coming out on your screen and join me every Friday and Tuesday on new videos every week. Have a beautiful day. God bless you, friends. Bye.